Hispanics, very entrepreneurial people. Yeah. They like me, I like them. I mean, I'm leading all along Texas and the Texas. And kind of family values as well, perhaps quite I important. I think there's family values. Christianity quite important all, for that community. I think so. All of the things, look, we're doing so well. Nobody's ever done well with the Hispanics like I've done, with the black community. The whole thing has been amazing. Asian community. We're doing well with women, it just came out, because women want security. They want to have security. Other countries are laughing at us. We have Iran building a nuclear weapon. That would have never Very happened with me. His oh, boy. We've got to dive into some more polls in a couple clips, video clips that I want to show you today because, I, I, I listen, it is looking like an absolute landslide. Absolute landslide. Now, we are a little bit away ways away from november but um i i think i think if it were today oh joe biden's joe, joe biden's getting his hiney kicked okay I'm, I'm gonna keep it pg here he, he he's he's getting whipped all over the place <laughs> i mean it's just crazy got a lot of clips for you guys today so um yeah like share comment hit that subscribe button if you are new and this first clip is actually an undocumented uh, immigrant, an illegal, right? Check out what this illegal immigrant had to say. It might shock you. Check it out. Yo soy un inmigrante indocumentado. Si yo pudiera votar en este momento, votaría por Donald Trump. Él es nacionalista y quiere que este país esté bien. Aquí nacieron mis hijos y quiero que mis hijos estén bien. ¿Y por qué más? Why else? No votaría por Joe Biden por este motivo. Joe Biden tiene al país hecho un desastre económicamente. What would you tell Democrats who think hey, mira, that all immigrants are going to be on their side? Dejen de pensar que los inmigrantes somos ignorantes. Los demócratas son la monja bondadosa que te encuentras en la calle, que te dice que te va a ayudar, pero cuando tiene el poder para hacerlo, se le olvida la promesa que te hizo. Y para los republicanos, for Republicans. Dejen ya de, de, de ser la monja diabólica que anda aterrorizando a nuestra comunidad de inmigrantes. No somos criminales, somos personas buenas. <laughs> you don't even need to watch the rest of it. This illegal literally said he wouldn't vote for Joe Biden. He would actually vote for Trump. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Joe Biden's in trouble. But, you know, don't take it from me. An example. I walked in, I was putting gas in the car the other day, and I walked in to buy a candy bar, which I don't do too often, and I looked down, it was $2.29. I was like, I'm not buying this candy I can afford the candy bar, but I refuse to buy this candy bar because I'm not paying two twenty nine for a candy yeah, bar. Right. And I mean, and, you know, look, and I can, I can, you know, afford toilet paper and chicken and everything that, you know, that we need. The but it, it used to be that we could go out and do things, you know, go out to dinner, you know, once, twice a week. Now, n no, that's not happening. You, we have to budget everything down, t down to the finest thing. And the cost of health care and medical has gone yes. up. An example. More Latino voters, man. Listen, Joe Biden's uh, economy, Bidenomics, not so great. Not so great. Um, oh, hold on. Let me rewind this back. There we go. Then there's the economy. Do you think the economy was better under Trump? I do. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I, I would say so. <laughs> hey, listen. Listen. When it comes to these types of videos, y'all know how I roll. There's more. You know, you might think, you know, that Hispanic voters might be the types of folks who would have a backlash against Donald Trump's remarks, right? Ain't the case. If you ask Hispanic voters who do they trust more on border security and immigration, overwhelmingly they trust Donald Trump more by a tremendous margin. Look at that, 49% to 24%. And that is in line with what we're seeing in the polls in general amongst Hispanics, right? Joe Biden won them overwhelmingly back in 2021 and by over 20 percentage points. Democrats normally carry them overwhelmingly. If you look at the polling right now and an average of polling amongst Hispanic voters, who do they choose in the ballot test? It's barely Biden, about Biden by about two points. It would be the smallest margin for any Democratic candidate among Hispanic voters basically throughout history since we started polling the gosh darn thing. So the fact is, at this point, there's no backlash. And at this point, I don't see one coming. You know, you might. 
the smallest margin ever, ever. Biden is leading Trump amongst Hispanics by, according to CNN, by just two points. Two. <laughs> oh, happy day. <laughs> Don't you just love it? Don't you just love it? I mean, everyone is abandoning the Democrat Party. And and this is this is why I've always said I'm happy that a lot of this stuff is happening because it's opening people's eyes to how terrible Democrat policies actually are. Their policies are garbage. And now we're seeing some of the effects of their policies. And of course, they try to blame everybody else. But Democrats, these are their policies that are destroying this country. And everybody knows it now, including black people. I want to show you this New York Times Siena College poll that found that both black and Hispanic voters say that Donald Trump's policies has, have helped them more than Joe Biden's policies by pretty wide margins, especially when you look at Hispanic voters. Is that alarming to you that nothing that the Biden campaign has said or done to this point has brought that at least closer than it is right now in this polling. The Biden administration has an incredible track record of support and making sure that it is working at all times to build an economy from the middle out uh, and the bottom up as opposed to the top down. I want to show you. Bro, is Hakeem Jeffries, Jeffries even a real person? Legitimately. Like, do y'all ever watch Hakeem Jeffries and you're like, bro, like, he seems like a robot, you know, like everything he says, it seems like scripted and rehearsed and like just non genuine. Like it, there's, there's no emotion. Like it's, it's the weirdest thing ever. I don't know if Akeem Jeffries is a real person. This stuff is just, I, I mean, I'm sure he is a real person. Uh, I don't want to start cons conspiracy theories, but uh, it's just weird, you know, like, they have trained Hakeem Jeffries to be, uh, I mean, this this guy, I mean, the Democrat talking points just, just roll off of his tongue. It, it, it's absolutely insane, man. Absolutely insane. But once again, as I always say with these types of videos, say it with me. There's more. And this is one of the trend lines that I think really tells the story that's the difference between this election and the 2020 election. So if you ask voters, who do you think would do a better job handling border security and immigration, what do we see? We see that back in 2020, it was basically a dead even split, right? Joe Biden was slightly favored on it, but not overwhelmingly. And of course, he slightly won the election, not overwhelmingly so. Look at where we are today in a Marquette University Law School poll that was put out last month. Look at that advantage that Joe Biden has on, excuse me, that Donald Trump has on immigration and border security. It's near 30 points. This is a tremendous change that's going on. And this is. That is pretty incredible. He had a one point lead in 2020. And now he's down by 28. That's a 29 point swing. That 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 is just wild. But once again, things are just so bad. They're so bad. That it's hard to ignore it. Right. It's 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 hard to ignore when all of this stuff is going bad all at once. And who's in charge? And everybody knows it. Exactly. Everybody knows it. Even if you want to take a look at some of these states that, you know, could potentially go either way. Typically in elections. I don't think that's going to happen this time around. I think it's heavy Trump. In terms of the overall electorate, recent Fox News polling found Arizonans' top three issues are the economy, election integrity, and immigration. Registered voters trust former President Trump over Biden when it comes to the economy and immigration. And when you look at a hypothetical matchup, Trump beats Biden by four points with a margin of error of plus or minus three points. In terms of the... In layman's terms, Trump is outside the margin of error on there. Wrap it up. Wrap it up. It's over. It's over. 
So let's break this down by race, right? Let's look at voters of color, look at white voters. And what we see here is back in 2020, according to the exit poll, Joe Biden won voters of color in Michigan by 62 points. Look at that advantage today. It has been sliced by a third, only 21 points. That's Joe Biden's lead over Donald Trump among voters of color. Among white voters, Donald Trump has gained a little bit of steam as well. It was 11 points in 2020. His margin over Joe Biden right now is 16 points. But this the decline in support for Joe Biden among voters of color in Michigan is something we've been seeing in state after state after state and nationally as well, where he's got some big problems. This is a historic low amount of support for a Democratic presidential candidate among voters of color. And it seems to be happening across the board, Kate. So let's. Did you hear that? Historic low. Historically low. <laughs> Joe Biden's making history. Just not in the right way. Thinking about what you want in President Biden, sharpness and stamina are exactly what you want. This is where I think Joe Biden wants voters to be. It's only 7%. Close enough, 24%. How about not what you want in Michigan? 69%. 69% not what you want. This, to me, is the big problem for Joe Biden. I, thinking I really want to know who that 7% of folks are. Who in the world is that? Exact, the, Biden is exactly what you want? Really? Exactly what you want? That is absolutely insane. But the problem is there's 69%. And uh, this is, I believe this is out of Michigan as well. That don't want Biden. Not at all. Not even a little bit. Um, and even if you want to um, take a look at something like this this case this michigan numbers oh these are not good for the incumbent president of the united states donald trump at 50 percent joe biden at 42 percent i looked back at the 2020 polling and at no point during the campaign was there a single poll that met cnn standards for publication in which donald trump led joe biden there were zero here we already have one and i looked at the average of polls and I looked at our previous cnn poll and they all show the same thing, which is that Donald Trump is ahead of Joe Biden in the Wolverine state. You go over to Michigan. Look, no clear leader. That's the key thing going on. These two gentlemen, Pennsylvania, he misspoke. You can see it right there at the top of the screen are tied. But again, this is a state that Joe Biden won last time around by a little bit more than a percentage point. So this is not the type of polling that Joe Biden wants to see here, but in clearly in much better shape in Pennsylvania than in Michigan. First case. I mean. I, I'd say it's pretty much over. Now, the poll he just showed showed that Trump was uh, tied in Pennsylvania. But I have a poll from Emerson that uh, just came out not too long ago, right? Uh, this was actually posted on the 21st. So literally yesterday, <laughs> literally yesterday. And uh, look what we have. Georgia, Trump plus four. Pennsylvania, Trump plus four. Wisconsin, Trump plus four. Arizona, Trump plus four. Nevada, Trump plus two. And Michigan, Trump up by 0. 0.6. Now, that, that, that one's interesting right there. That one's interesting because, you know, in, in, in that other poll, which one was it? Wait. This one, here we go. In this poll, it says Trump is up by eight. So that, that's really interesting to see. But uh, long story short, he's up. He's up. So I hey, listen, I, I, I think it's done and over with, right? I think it's done and over with. Uh, it's, it's just a matter of time. We just have to wait until November, right? We just have to wait until November. Now, um, I will admit, I guess I shouldn't say it's done and over, right? I, I I shouldn't get ahead of myself, okay? We got a little bit of ways until November, right? We got, we got, got a little ways. We, we still got some work to do because also, and I guess I should have said this too, I'm sure the Biden administration is going to try to do something, right? They're going to try to do something, some type of handout, some type of pandering move, uh, you know, two black people or two Hispanics, right? They're going to do something. Something. 
whether it's like a push on the whole abortion thing, which is why I'm glad that Trump took the stance that he took on abortion, right? Because literally that's, that's all Democrats have at this point. That's all they have. Oh, Republicans and abortion. That's all they have. And Trump did the smart thing and he took it away from them. He took it away. He said, I will agree with whatever the American public agrees with. Simple and plain. Took away their power. So now I'm just wondering what they're going to try to do. And I, I, I think it's going to be a dramatic move, whether that be, you know, something catastrophic, right? Cut the power. Or if it is a major handout to, you know, black people or Hispanics or something. I don't know. What do you guys think? What do you guys think it's going to be? Because they're going to do something. There's no way that they just sit back and just relax and just take it. Right. There's just no way they're going to do something uh, in my humble opinion. But just what do you guys think that's going to be? That's the question. Let me know in the comment section below. Like, share, comment, hit that subscribe button before you go. Peace and love. I'm out.